Hey guys, I was grilling some ribs about two weeks ago and I completely forgot to put the cover back on after I was done and it rained the next day. And seemingly water went all the way up the pipe. I don't know about all the way, but it went some distance up the pipe and caused the pellets to swell up and the auger is stuck. In fact, back here I noticed, look at here, that's a dry pellet and that that's another one that got wet. They literally swell up to about double their size. So it pretty much seizes the auger. I've watched several YouTube videos on how to try and fix this. And I've seen everything from trying to flush it out with water to heating it up to basically taking this whole assembly out and beating it, beating the auger with the two by four till you finally get it to come out or to, to break loose. And it sounded like nobody really had great success with all of that. So I decided to try something different. Um, fortunately, the water hadn't come all the way to here. So all of these pellets were dry. So I sucked them out with my shot back and I already kind of figured out the trick, but I put it back in place to show y'all uh, what I did. So anyway, you've got the, the motor with the gear reduction is right here. Took that loose. Let's see if I can get it to come off. Okay, can you hold the phone? Mm -hmm. You can thank my five-year-old for uh, holding the camera here. All right, so you just let the motor hang. And then this comes out. And what I did is found a bolt that was just the right size to fit inside the auger here. Well, that because... was actually me because I found it in the box. Yeah, yeah, she found that one. So we got one that would fit right inside there. So the reason we did that is because you can see the wall of this auger pipe portion is not very thick. So what I wanted to do is put a pipe wrench on the, the shaft of the auger. And the wall is pretty thin, so I knew it was going to collapse it. I had already tried with my channel locks and it was starting to crush this. So if we put that bolt in there that is going to at least keep it from collapsing, then we can put a pipe wrench to it. And when I first put the pipe wrench to it, I was putting enough torque to it that I thought something was going to break. And finally it did uh, start coming loose. So I think the problem is other people are trying to literally pull or push the auger out. And it's just so seized up in there that it's, that's impossible. So your best bet is to try to actually turn the auger. I know people have tried um, needle nose and that sort of stuff, but you just need way more torque than that. So here, Kate, you hold the camera and I'll... That's what I was just about to ask. All right. So I'm turning it counterclockwise. If I turned it clockwise, it would be trying to pull itself back in. So counterclockwise is basically unscrewing itself. You can hear how it's seized up in there. Before I broke it loose, like when it first popped loose, it was, it was a, pretty much almost a snap is what it sounded like because it broke loose so violently but I'm just gonna keep turning it then once we get this out then we should be able to just steadily dig and pick at the uh, the pieces that are left in there and I can probably even use the auger to try and get them out all right so see there's still a good bit of dry stuff left in there so it looks like we didn't have whole bunch of water. Let's hit that with the vacuum. Okay. So this is the length of the auger. Let's see how far in it goes. So it's going in about halfway before it's hitting the, the wet pellets. So now I'm basically going to use this to I'll just screw it back in a little and then pull to break the pellets loose and I'll just continue chipping away at it like that. So here's the final results. You can see basically half of the auger is kind of corroded looking from where the, the wet pellets were sitting. And it didn't take us long, maybe 15 minutes or so to get it cleared out. And I basically just kept using the auger to, to mess with it. But now you can see it slides right in. And, so I hope that helps someone else. And oh, stepped in right there is our assistant director. 
Carson, can you say bye-bye to the camera? Bye-bye, camera. All right. Thanks, y'all. All right, Kate. Bye. <laughs>